Well, hello there. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to today's vlog. We're gonna go ahead and start off our morning with, if you guys saw, two eggs, 50 grams of avocado, two pieces of wheat toast, and then two servings of low-fat cottage cheese. And today, time is it? Oh my God, I gotta get going soon. So we have school, unfortunately, in like, like an hour and a half, but I have to get there early because I'm like discussion leader today. So I have to like make sure that everything's like in its appropriate spot, talk about the subject, and all this other stuff. You know, I gotta go in early, take care of all this. So I'm not gonna see you guys after this video because I can't really film inside the school, unfortunately. That'd be really cool. I should get like a GoPro, like wear it on like my head or like something like in my backpack. I don't know, just like do a time lapse of like my whole entire day. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that one time. I don't have a GoPro yet, but I'm gonna do that. Anyways, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and meet up with you guys at the gym. We're gonna film a chest session today because that's what we have today. My carbs have dropped from 200 to 175. So we're literally in the last four weeks of dieting. It's crazy, everything's coming together. I'm pretty excited right now. I'm like a little bit drained, but we're like hanging on. You always have to look at life as glass, as, as the glass of chocolate milk half full. As cliche as that sounds, that's what we gotta do, all right? But yeah, you know, honestly, I feel a little bit drained, but we're gonna grind it out, we're gonna push through. I'm pretty excited for, uh, for everything to kind of come to an end, all that hard work we put in, and then give you guys a final physique update, and then go through all of that, and then, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, guys. So right now we're at 200 grams of protein, 175 carbs, and 55 grams of fat. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and meet up with you guys at the gym, we'll start the edit in three, two, Super windy out right now. Okay, as I said that, the wind totally just died down. All right, guys, so we just finished up with our chest workout. We're gonna go home. We're gonna go ahead and get something to eat and then probably enjoy this beautiful day. Oh, I was gonna say the sunroof is up, but it is not up because I closed it when I'm inside to the gym. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get a post-workout, man. I'll show you guys what I'm eating. Oh man, I like I cannot tell you guys. I've tried every protein besides MTS Whey, the cookies and cream. I just hate protein. It'll never go down easy. I gotta get something to eat now. Guys, right, so now we're gonna go ahead and have a fiber one bar. Just tell me get my fiber in for the day. I also have some carbs in it as well. And we're gonna have this awesome chicken with spinach, jalapenos, seasonings and oh uh, low fat cheese on there as well so if, i'm gonna make a recipe video for this it's super good it's a super good way to make chicken taste good i absolutely love it and the reason definition starting to come through the reason why i'm shirtless right now is because we're about to go cut the grass i'm trying to work on my tan this year because i feel like i'm just so i'm so pale so I'll, i'm gonna do it shirtless and uh cut the grass it should take me about 45 minutes to an hour so hopefully i'll get a little bit little bit of color not just like this pale like I don't even know. I don't even know what to call it. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I'll catch up with you guys after everything. This is my mom's first time. She's on her own weight loss journey here. And we're gonna be teaching her how to weigh, so grams. You can either do it. Grams is a little bit more exact. So yeah. What is it? What is that rate? So 2.9 ounces of fish. We have some rice in there. So it's fine. 
My mom is tracking her macros just like me. She's on this journey as well. Show them what you're eating. Oh, not the best. Not the best. Oh, that's fine. We got rice with just some seasoning on there, some white fish, and then broccoli as well. Her calories for that, not by me, unfortunately, but her coach has her at 1,300 calories, and then she has 30% protein, 40% carbs, and like 30% of fat as well. So we'll stay tuned for the transformation. Welcome to my garage. All right, guys, we are in my messy garage. As you guys can see, all the bikes. My dad is a carpenter. He keeps all of his saws and everything in here. And, um, you know, today was just one of those days, you know. I think you guys know what I'm talking about because I think I feel like a lot of people can relate to this. Just one of those days where it's kind of like life hits you, you know what I mean? And it's like, what day? What day is today? No, today's not May 1st. It's close to May 1st. So for a lot of us who are in college, it's finals week, right? Some of us are transferring. I'm transferring to Eastern, hopefully this fall, getting accepted in. Hopefully, I haven't sent in my, uh, um, I haven't applied yet, right? We're transferring school, some of us. We got jobs. We got money we got to worry about, you know. We're doing, we're doing, we're, we're becoming adults, so to speak, for the, for the most part. Even in high school, juniors, seniors, you know, we're becoming young adults, um, you know, we got dreams we're trying to follow, you know, we got YouTube we're trying to get done. Um, we got some big stuff coming for YouTube that I'm super excited about. We got a lot of stuff going on. And how do I word this? I feel like right now it's just a really great place in my life, even though it's like grind season right now. Let me go ahead and explain this. So a lot of people, they have um, this... I don't, I'm not going to call it depression because I know some people will get mad because, you know, depression is obviously uh, diagnosed and all this other stuff. So I'll, I'll say sad, um, maybe bitter, maybe angry about how their life is going right now. And a lot of people are in a place in their life right now where they want change, they want this result, but they're not willing to work for it. And if they're not willing to work for it, it's they're afraid of what other people think. They're afraid if if they fail, what's going to happen. They're they're afraid of failure, so to speak. And you know, I've been you know today we went out, cut the grass, and I literally been just chilling on my porch. I have a screen in porch that like kind of overlooks like our little street and everything like that. It was a beautiful day out today, just kind of reflecting, right? I always like reflecting sometimes, like you know, once a week, just kind of thinking, all right, where am I at for this week? What do I have to do? I think a light just went out, but should be good as far as lighting goes. Um, but what, you know, where am I going right now, right? Like I said, big things for me, we got finals coming up for college. It's a make or break right now for me as far as my grades are concerned. We got Eastern, Eastern Illinois University that I'll be applying to. That's a huge thing for me. We have my job, you know, we're trying to make money for Eastern, cars, YouTube, anything like that, you know, new equipment. We got YouTube, which is one of my main concerns because I absolutely love making videos and I'm excited to announce that I'll be getting a MacBook Pro. I already got the drone and then probably more than likely a new DSLR camera since I'm filming on the Sony RX100, but I haven't decided on that yet. But anyways, editing and footage and stuff like that will be improved. I'm really excited to be making big, big, big quality improvements in this whole entire YouTube channel as far as workouts. I hopefully you guys enjoyed the edit. I spent a decent amount of time on that. But anyways, that's why it's important. So YouTube, another big thing for me, you know, you got to, if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, focus on that. Friends, you want to focus on that. Family, you want to focus on that. But all this, you also want to have time to hang out with your friends, do things, go to festivals, events, you know, whatever you want to do. I got all this stuff going on. And I, and I love it. It's almost like a big grind to me because it makes me realize, it, it, it reminds me that what we want in life requires hard work. If I want to make it big on YouTube, it's going to take dedication, it's going to take uh, you know time, and it's going to take effort and hard work. If I want to make a lot of money, it's going to take time, effort, hard work. If I want to get shredded, time, effort, hard work. If I want to make it into college, we're up till 3 a.m. in the morning studying when we got to wake up at 6 a.m. to go to a 7 a.m. class. You guys kind of get the point? It's about that hard work, and not a lot of people get this. A lot of people are at a point in their lives right now where they're just kind of like, I want this, 
but how bad do you really want it? As Eric Thomas would say, do you want it as bad as you want to breathe? That's kind of the mindset that I'm going through right now and, and hopefully that a lot of people can apply. You know, if you're watching this video right now and you made it, you know, this far in the video, you know, that means a lot to me because for one, you're watching my videos, but two, hopefully I can somehow connect because I guarantee you right now, even for me sometimes, we want this end result. We're here. And what happens in between here, sometimes we're not willing to put in that hard work. Sometimes we're not willing to stay up late. Sometimes we're not willing to go into the gym when we're tired. Sometimes we're not willing to study when there's a party. Sometimes we don't want to go work even though we need the money. People don't understand, it seems like, that what they want requires hard work. I see all the time, you know, especially me being in college, we got all my friends and everything like that and people I know, they're like, I want this. I want this this nice car. I want this amazing family, this amazing house, this this amazing everything. I must feel like Italian doing this, Mamma Mia. Yeah, you know, I want this amazing everything. But they're like, oh, you know, I, I don't want to do this, though. It requires too much work, too much effort. I'd rather spend it doing this, sitting around on my phone, partying, being cool, caring about what people think about me, my social status, you know, that type of deal. I'd rather spend my money on that new pair of Jordans, which I got nothing against, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? I have a couple pairs of Air Jordans myself, so no one get offensive over that. Um, but you know what I mean? They're not making their dream the priority. So what's in here? They're postponing. And that's going to be, I think I'll make that the title of my video, Regret. Because there's a speech, I forgot who's by, I think it's Les Brown, I want to say, that basically says when you're on your deathbed, when you're 80, 85, hopefully you live into your 90s, a healthy life with a lovely family. When you're on your deathbed, all of those opportunities, all of those dreams, imagine them surrounding you. They came to you. They came to in your head and you never acted on them because you're too busy doing this. You didn't have enough time. You're out partying. You have a hangover today, so you can't do this. You're spending your money on this. You're concerned about other people. You don't want to put in the work. You don't want to put in the effort. You don't want to put in the time. And all those opportunities and dreams come to you on your deathbed. Those, those amazing things that you could have had, that you could have created. You could have been happy. Happiness is the key overall. You could have been happy, man. And you didn't act on it because you didn't want to put in the time or effort. Imagine that. Imagine you are on your deathbed and all those things come around you. All those things you wanted so bad but you just simply did not put in the effort. Imagine that. I feel like the biggest thing in life is regret. The biggest thing is not acting on your dreams. Another thing I always follow by and preach by is, you know, where's the richest place on the earth? Is it Dubai? No, it's a graveyard. Because all those opportunities, all those dreams, all those ideas that people had and they never acted on, you can't put a value on that. Once you follow those dreams and they come true, I mean, that is pure happiness. As human beings, if we want something and we want to have this, we everyone has this big dream. Whether it's makeup or doing good at NASA, building spaceships or being a fitness model or being whatever. And people didn't follow that and that dies with them. All those values that they could have had, all that happiness they could have had dies with them. And you can't, you know, it's, it's like, wow, you know, the graveyard is the richest place on earth because all that combined in one of those ideas that never came to life died with those people. I feel like, like I said, regret, this, this big thing focusing around regret when you're even in your 40s or 50s and all of a sudden you have a family and other opportunities, or not opportunities, excuse me, other other uh, basically focuses, you know, your kids, your house, your mortgage, making sure your kids go through college and you know it's like time is running out you know you didn't act on them because you chose not to right I mean damn sorry we got all deep to end this video but you know I feel like a lot of people can relate a lot of people just have those days right I went to the store went to go pick up some chicken and rice and uh, it's like kind of one of those things where you're like in the car the music's playing like it's starting to get like dark out it's about to rain like all night and tomorrow I think you just start thinking. Like you're not like I'm not, I wasn't sad, but it's just like wow, like this is this is all happening, and I'm excited for it because we're putting in the work, we're putting in the grind, we're focusing on what we really want, 
And a lot of people are afraid to start because they don't want to be seen at the bottom. I mean, if you look down your screen right now, you see 142, I think, subscribers we have. That's, that's not shit. But every person, every 142 subscribers, that means the world to me. Because not only is that people that believe in me, but it's something that I can improve on. Something I can keep building, get other people, and spread a message. That's, that's like the main point of this channel. Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and end the vlog on that note. Hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed this little spiel, this little rant that I had. And right now, listen, man, if you're going through some rough times, it's not going to last. Get over it. Follow your dreams. As cliche as that sounds, do it. I know that every single one of you wants something right now. So follow that. Go out and get it and find your true happiness. This is Bob McElodchak coming from Bob McElodchak Fitness YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys for the next vlog.